Hi, it's The Wire. It's Thursday, September 9th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, um, of all the fighters out there, I believe one of the fighters who is going to shine the most, is going to exceed expectations the most, in this new older fighters fighting MMA guys format, is going to be Evander Holyfield. Right? I believe Holyfield has exactly what it takes to be a dominant force in that format. We'll call it the over 40, in his case, the late 50s spectrum of fighters in boxing exhibitions. You know, um, I don't believe Victor Belfort has a shot against Evander Holyfield. The only question, and I mean this, is whether Holyfield is in shape, and Holyfield is the kind of guy who is always in shape. I believe he was a victim of the political mood a few years ago, when Holyfield was still a decent heavyweight, but he was older, and people started looking down on his fight simply because of his age. He's a master strategist. He beat Nikolai Valuev. He should have become heavyweight champion again. He is the one who came up with the blueprint in terms of moving around the ring, forcing Valuev to use his feet that David Hay was then able to use. The difference between the two guys was that the judges ripped off Holyfield, in my opinion. Holyfield clearly wins the fight. The judges rewarded David Hay. Hay became heavyweight champion. Right? Just understand, too, that the same Holyfield who worked from the outside in on Value F worked from the inside out on Mike Tyson. You want to know how good Holyfield is deep in the pocket? Just look at the masterpiece. That was his first fight against Mike Tyson. Folks, who tries to get inside on Mike Tyson and then ends up having the level of success that Evander Holyfield had? Also, understand Holyfield's survival skills. He fights two fights against Mike Tyson. He fights two fights against Lennox Lewis. Right? These are two of the hardest punchers from the 1990s. And he's not knocked down once in either fight. Right? Holyfield is like a computer. Understand, this is the guy with the complete game. Lennox Lewis has been quoted as saying Holyfield was his toughest opponent. Holyfield can hover, right, move around the pocket, circle you, force you to throw punches. Holyfield is a master counterpuncher. Holyfield is two-handed. Now, Victor Belfort was about to fight a guy, Oscar De La Hoya, whose last fight was at welterweight. Now he is stepping in the ring against the guy who was the heavyweight champion. I understand that Holyfield is something like 58 years old. I understand. For many of you, that's cringeworthy. But this is the guy who has kept himself in shape. I understand that this is a short notice fight. But understand Holyfield was talking about fighting Belfort after the De La Hoya fight took place, right? And Holyfield, of course, has been trying to get Mike Tyson in the ring. I believe Holyfield wins that fight if it ever happens, right? And so 
don't get me wrong. I do believe that Tyson and Lennox Lewis were more dominant champions than Evander Holyfield. But I believe boxing is a craft. I believe this guy is one of the elite craftsmen. Right? Cruiserweight champion, heavyweight champion. Spent his career fighting the best. Let's remember, too, he fights three classic fights with Riddick Bowe. For those of you who have forgotten how great Riddick Bow was in his prime, I encourage you to revisit those fights. I encourage you to look at the first fight in particular at just the level of volume both guys threw at each other. The kind of fighter who beats Holifield is a guy like James Tony. Understand, Tony, like Holifield, Master craftsman, excellent counterpuncher, fainter. Right? To beat Holifield, you really have to faint him out of his shoes. You have to be able to throw punches backing up. You have to be able to operate with your back up against the ropes. When he comes inside, like he did against Tyson, you need to let him know, player. You're only one of two guys in this ring in this fight who can handle themselves very deep in the pocket. I just don't see. I simply don't see how a guy having his second boxing match, which is what Victor Belford is doing, is going to be competitive against Evander Holyfield. Let me also say, too, Holifield is simply one of the best in making adjustments in the middle of the fight. Right? This is the guy who can look at you and who is processing everything. Figures out your tendencies and then Holifield, who has every punch in the book, can decide what he's going to do. Throw uppercuts, move to the left, move to the right. Very agile. Has legs that Mike Tyson doesn't have. Does not move in straight lines. Is hard to read on where he's going to be. Is the kind of counterpuncher who can set up clean counters. Look at how he first won the heavyweight title. With a very clean counter on Buster Douglas. Right? This is the kind of skilled guy I once made an earlier video, got laughed out the room, as you could imagine, where I pointed out that early in a fight, Holifield would be competitive against Anthony Joshua. Right? Because Holifield's the kind of guy, I believe this guy looks at film religiously. He's the kind of guy who can figure out when a fighter can't fight backing up. And Holifield is the kind of guy whose style is malleable. So he'll then say, okay, for this fight, I'm going to back this guy up. Right? Let's remember, Tyson complains of headbutts from Holifield. When you look at the film, you'll notice Holifield's head is right here on Mike Tyson. One wonders whether Holifield would have tried to get inside on Joe Fraser. This is a rare talent fighting a newbie to boxing. Because I believe boxing's a craft, because I believe Holifield is a guy who has never relied on spectacular hand speed and things like that. This is a technician. I believe Holifield is the kind of guy who, as long as he's standing upright, will always be able to give younger folk a very hard time in the ring. I'm waiting for the line to drop on this fight. I understand the fight's been moved out of California to Florida, right? I get that at short notice, but I also get that Holifield is a guy who is a fitness buff. Let's just say, even on short notice, at 58 years of age, 
I don't believe Holifield is going to be lacking in stamina. I like Holifield over Victor Belfort. I don't believe it's close. I believe Holifield, even today, is the real deal. Let's remember, years ago, we were so protective that we didn't want women fighting. Right? I believe Holifield was a victim of the times. If you're just going off talent and ability, this is the older guy who's still tough. Right? I'm looking at the Americans in the heavyweight division right now. And I openly wonder how Holifield would do against some of them. I like Evander Holifield over Victor Belford. Um, he's 58, but he's 58 with skills. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.